So today I'm going to tell you about a website called Canva. It can be reached at www.canva.com. And what I love about Canva is it allows you to do your own graphic designs where you don't have to worry about copyright because you can pull in your own pictures or you can create graphics. They have both free and paid version. But I have never made anything where I couldn't find what I wanted just by using their free stuff. So what I'm going to show you now is just some of the things that I have created um, over time. And these are just um, things that I use for our chat, tech chat, Twitter chat. Little visuals that we put on Twitter um, that have been helpful. This is just a banner that I created for my Twitter account. Sometimes when I blog, I'll create a little visual to go along with the blog. But what it does is it allows you to be super creative and look like you've spent a lot of time on something that really doesn't take much time at all because of preset options that are already there. So as I move back up to the top of this, I'm going to show you how you can do this. You'll create a free account. I'm signed in with my CCS Tech Coach Gmail account right now. And then once you're um, inside of it, you have this option to create a design. Most of my designs are actually social media designs, but you can see you have lots of options here, or you can just create something of your own um, with custom dimensions. So I'm just going to choose social media. And what I'm going to do is show you um, that they have backgrounds or preset things that you could just pay for and then change the wording if you want. So if you look in the lower right hand corner, you'll see this one here has a little um, dollar sign, whereas this one says free. Like I said before, I've never had to pay for anything and I've been able to do whatever I wanted um, to create very good graphics in my opinion. Um, I usually start off by picking a background for mine and you'll notice here you've got some free options and you've also got just some colors um, that you can use or pick from your color wheel itself. So let's say I want to use that color as my background or if you look down here you've actually got some patterns as well. So it's kind of your choice. Um, I, there's a lot of freedom in choosing on this. And then um, I'm going to add some text on this. And what I love about Canva is that there are already some um, free text that's been kind of created that makes it a little bit more fun and edgy than what I might do when I sit down on my own. Um, so once you find something that you like or that you think might work, you would just um, pull it into by drag and drop. your background. So that was super easy. So let's say I don't like that. I would just hit this and I would come back over and I would look some more. Um, the ease of it is kind of a big deal to me. I love um, just how easy it all is. Okay, so if I pull this back over, let's say I don't like that color. I can go up and I can kind of make this my own. You know, give it a little um, excitement or put the Julie stamp of approval on it for lack of a better way to explain that. Um, and then once you choose what you want, you can then go in and actually even change the color of your letters if you want as well. Not that I want to do that, but just to show you kind of how that works. Um, it's, a, it, it's a really neat way to um, create something that's yours alone. So I can then go up here and change the wording that is already here. And I've created my first graphic. Now, also, if I go here to search, you'll see that there are frames, there are illustrations, there are lines, different things I can choose from. So if I choose line here, which I'm kind of a fan of adding a little extra. Um, I can pull that in. I can flip it around. I can size it. Once I get it, I can copy it. And I can move it to the other side. I can then go in and I can change my colors.
And I like how um, the little lines show up to kind of help you figure out if you've got it where you want to. One of my one of the really cool things with this to me is that I have the ability to upload pictures um, of my own to to create things instead of using um, things off the internet where I wonder, oh goodness, is this you know free to use or should I be worried that there's a copyright with associated with it? So I can bring up my own pictures as well, which I think is a plus. Um, and the way you do that is if I click on uploads, upload your own image, I'll go out to my desktop or my files, wherever it is you keep your pictures, and I'll just go down until I find something that I want to be in this picture. For instance, um, let's do that Ed Camp Gig City picture because I do love these people. All right, so now I can come back over here and I can kind of size this. I can come back over here and I can, just like I search for lines, I can search for frames. And I can find a frame that I think, you know, that would look really good over here. And I can size it. I can then... Um, I can either upload a picture, but you saw me just pull that in, so, or I can just drag it over. So I have some options here on the way that I might want to do that. Um, and now all of a sudden, your graphic is looking like something that someone other than um, someone with a technology and accounting degree might have created. Um, when I'm done with it, I'll go up here to download. I can either download it as an image or a high quality PDF. Um, the options are endless and I see multiple ways to use it in the classroom um, just to be a little creative. And that's why I love Canva.